Hello, Scorpio. This is going to be your August 2020 reading. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. It could be for Vedic, tropical, or sidereal, whichever one works for you, okay? And of course, if you're a cross-watcher, you'll want to go ahead and reverse the energies, okay? As this is Scorpio's reading. So Scorpio, we're going to see what's coming towards you in love, okay? In August, we're going to do a little spread here. Let's see what is going on for Scorpio. This is the Starman Tarot for those who may be interested. I got this from a client. Thank you so much. So it's such a beautiful deck that I don't even like using it, but she mentioned it the other day. She was like, I got you the deck. You don't use it. I'm like, that's eh, because I like it. The decks that I like, I don't try to use a lot because I'm very rough on my decks. I'm very heavy handed. So they get cracked up and broken up. And this is the, a David Bowie deck. So it's very like, you know, nice since he's not around anymore. So we have the Nine of Swords is your current energy, Scorpio. Ew, what's going on? You guys are not getting sleep? What's going on? Stress, Scorpio. Nine of Swords. We have the Moon energy here, Cancerian energy. There's a lot of um, uncertainty in your love life right now. A lot that you don't understand, a lot that you don't know about, maybe secrets here. Some of you are feeling like someone's hiding something from you. We have the Seven of Swords, yep. So I feel like you're avoiding love right now because you don't trust people. You feel um, like someone is out to get you. You feel like there's someone who's not being honest with you, someone who's out to hurt you. In this deck, the snakes are breaking out of the cage. So you're getting away from someone that you don't trust, I feel. Someone is causing you a lot of stress though because you wanna know what's going on with this person. You don't wanna deal with their betrayal, but you do wanna know what's going on. We have the star man. The magician is what you're not showing people. So some of you guys are readers or you do some sort of esoteric work in your spare time and you don't tell people about it. There's been a lot of major arcanas coming out. Some of you done with the Gemini Virgo Aries. Some of you know that this person is your divine counterpart, but you're not telling anyone that because this person is a liar or they, you know, lie. They're not being honest with you. You don't want to claim this person because you don't know what's going on with them. So this is gonna be for your extended. I'm gonna pull your extended cards now. This will be your person's perspective of the relationship and their actions and also the outcome for August, okay? So Cancer energy here, definitely Virgo, Gemini, Aries. You don't trust someone. Nine of Swords. What's the issue here? Okay, what's the Nine of Swords about? Let's clarify this, Scorpio, because I'm not getting a lot of information here. What's this Nine of Swords about? What is this Nine of Swords? The, the Knight of Wands. So there's a fire sign stressing you out. Aries, Leo, Sag, you don't trust. That comes in and out of your life. They're stressing you out because they're inconsistent. Okay, a lot of you, this person is very sexual with you and then they leave. This could be a Libra. Some of you haven't heard from this person in a while. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So something about, something about the divine is protecting you from this person. It could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. I'm getting strong fire sign energy. I definitely feel like you were intuitively nudged by spirit to kind of detach from this person because you don't get good vibes from them. Okay, so something happened. Maybe there was an event that happened that triggered you into avoiding this person with the Wheel of Fortune. What's this event that happened? It's, it was orchestrated by the cosmos. What is this with the divine energy here? The Wheel of Fortune. What is this? What is the Wheel of Fortune? Too many cards, but we'll take the one that went face down. Um, there's also the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you somebody found, maybe you found out about an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We also have the Ace of Wands. Maybe you guys met a new person. Maybe you guys met someone new. And this new person, you could have met an earth sign that pulled you away from this fire sign that was lying to you in Aries Leo Sag. So you're like, yeah, chariot energy. Maybe you, some of you guys are going towards a new person, an earth sign, a cancer. Yeah, see moon card here. Maybe you guys are, okay, I'm getting two different, all right, now I'm getting the full story here. There's someone from your past, a fire sign, who was very flaky, very non-dependable, very sexual, very immature. Um, that stress, it's still, there's person still currently stressing you out and you're not sure. I feel if you should move on with this earth sign 
because you're not sure about this fire sign. This fire sign is giving you trust issues, which is by your fellow um, sign mate, Scorpio, Western Scorpio, uh, Drake, right? So trust issues. The past person is giving you trust issues. You're still connected with the past person. So you're not really ready to let this earth sign in or this new energy. This person, this new person doesn't have to be an earth sign, but they're definitely someone to me who's looking for a commitment. And I feel like you met this person in some faded way with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? It's like this person fell into your lap. And Spirit's like, oh, you don't know if you should trust this fire sign? You don't know if this fire sign is the one for you? Well, here's a new person who's very sure and very stable. And that person, this new person, is going to show you what you've been missing from this fire sign. This new person is going to show you why you shouldn't be fucking with this old person, this Sag, Aries, Leo, or whoever this Knight of Wands is that keeps coming in out of your life. So I feel like Spirit has put a new person in your life to show you what commitment looks like. Because a lot of you may have some self-worth is issues and you don't know how you should be treated. This Earth sign is going to do the trick, okay? We have the Five of Swords. A lot of mind games here. Yeah, you have been, I hate to use this word, but mind effed, okay? I won't say the full word because I don't want to get demonetized. But some of you have been mind effed, okay, by an ex-spouse, okay? If it's not an ex-spouse, it's the father or mother of your children. It's a narcissist with the emperor here, an Aries or Taurus that's a narcissist. Some of you guys have been mind effed by somebody. And because you've been mind effed by somebody, mind screwed by somebody, you don't trust this new person, but you want to move on to this Virgo, this Capricorn, this uh, Taurus, this stable person. Clarify the Magician. Clarify the Magician. The Hermit. Virgo again. So some of you guys want this new person. It's a Virgo. Um, one more. Some of you guys are working on some sort of spiritual cra craft in private. I feel like some of you met a new person and, you, and you're and you going through a spiritual awakening at the same time. Tower, Hermit, Starman, three major arcanas from which you're hiding from people, Scorpio. You guys do that a lot though, right? Aren't you guys known for that? The card of the sign of secrecy. So you guys are going through um, a spiritual awakening. Some of you have been awakened into a spiritual path very quickly because you've come in contact with your divine counterpart. Or there's been some sort of shift that has caused you to really go into a spiritual place, okay, of learning. Um, and you're keeping this to yourself. You're keeping it to yourself that you see this old person in a new light and that you want something new. You're keeping it to yourself. You're not telling people. So what's coming towards you in love is a new opportunity to see how you could be treated, a new opportunity to show you why this past person is not for you. Because I definitely feel like this past person is on some games. With the Knight of Wands here, they're not here to be consistent in your life. Let's see what's coming towards Scorpio and love for August. We have wedding. This per I feel like this is the new person. I feel like this new person coming in wants something stable. Or you are dealing with someone who's married. And that's why they can't commit to you. Okay. For some of you, this is your spouse already. You're already married to this person. This this past person. This fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus. Um, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know why I got that. I know. I feel like that the earth sign's a new person. But whatever. Some of you guys were connected to an uh, older person who was narcissistic, who cheated, or who, who or wasn't consistent. <sighs> um, that's the person that may have been married. I lost what I was going to say. But anyway, we have to express your love in reverse. I think that spirit is trying to tell you not to make any moves right now. Separation. Maybe with this hermit, the tower, and the star man, spirit has not only made you suddenly single. Yeah, some of you guys, like I said, okay, that's what I was going to say. This person in your past could have been the person you're married to, your spouse, and they cheated on you a lot. So maybe you're divorcing this person suddenly, or somehow you have became single very quickly. Tower, hermit, magician, you, you got into this energy of being alone very quickly. And spirit wants you to stay there. Spirit does not want you to express love, even to this new person. Spirit wants you to give both opportunities time to show you what they really mean and what they really are. So you guys need to tame yourself and not make any decisions or express your love right now. Now is not the time to act on love. 
You do need to let this new person prove themselves to you. Spirit wants you to do that. They want you to do that so that you will see what you're not supposed to be accepting from this Knight of Wands person. They want you to see what you could have so that you start demanding more in love, okay? They don't want you to act on love. That's why a lot of you have been pushed into this hermit mode of going through a spiritual awakening or being alone. We have who is responsible for this, double question mark. That means your person is a hot ass mess. Your, your past person is a hot ass mess. Who is responsible for this? They are such a hot ass mess. We have to ask who the hell raised this person, pretty much. Then to add on to inner in, injury, who are you dealing with? Even worse, I never get these two cards in the same reading. They basically mean the same thing. Your person a hot ass mess. We also have, oh, you definitely need a new job. So maybe some of you guys need a new job. Maybe some of you guys have been pushed into this spiritual teaching role now. You're no longer... Um, you're no longer doing the typical job that you used to do. Maybe some of you guys are meant to be spiritual teachers. And you can't be that connected with this fuck boy or fuck girl from the past. Well, there goes my monetization. <laughs> oh, well. You can't be that messing with this, this person in the past, okay? We have ambitious like a Capricorn too. So this person could be a Capricorn or you you're have some Capricorn in your chart or you're very focused on a new journey, okay? So yeah, some of you guys might have a Capricorn coming in, like an earth sign, someone who's stable and ambitious, who wants something stable, all right? So we'll see what happens in the extended. I don't know if the new person is going to come through or this old person, but we are going to look at this person's actions towards you. I forgot to pull you guys' uh, star seed oracle. What is the purpose of this person? Let's see the old person first for Scorpio. What is the purpose? We have fallen to my arms, surrender, holding the opposite extremes of life. I feel like this person is meant to show you your opposite. I feel like this person is like not the same as you. You're consistent. You're wanting something stable. This person is not that. If they were your spouse, you guys married poorly. I'm sorry. I hate to say that, but it happens. I did it. It happens. We live. Um, you marry someone who isn't your on your same page. Okay, I get that. That's what I'm feeling. This new person, Star Brothers, Horus, Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, Trust. I thought so. This person's coming through like Horus, okay? The Sun God, Leo Energy. This person's coming through because you guys are connected and they're here to show you loyalty, safety, and trust. They're trying they're here to show you what's up. Okay. They were they you guys already knew like before you came here, this person already said, hey, you're going to be in the fog for a while. I'm going to come and pull you out of it. There's going to be a point in your life where you're going to need me to come pull you out of some bullshit and show you what's up. And I'm going to do that. So that's what this person, this new person is here to do. Okay. Whether they stay in your life or not, you know, that's not really what this is about. We'll find that out in the extended where, you know, if there's a new person and what their intentions are. But I feel like this person is here to show you what is bullshit and what is not. Okay. Okay. So now that I've lost my monetization on this video, <laughs> let's go ahead and go into the extended Scorpio. Make sure you guys like this video, comment, please share it. Um, and I hope to see you in the extended. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, okay? I'll see you later, Scorpio. Bye.